Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to talk about Ascent KPA in MuleSoft. So it's not only available in MuleSoft. So this is one of the specification type in general. So we might have heard about normal API specification. So what is Ascent KPA? So the normal API specification, whatever we use to have, that is more of a synchronous API because whenever we call an API, we expect some kind of a response immediately. But what is this asynchronous API or Ascent KPA? So this is mainly used for messaging based integration. For example, in your organization, you need to publish a data to some system and uh, or some topic or channel where somebody wants to subscribe the data. So if you have any messaging based integration, right? So which is also called as some publish subscribe integration pattern. So if you have that kind of pattern, right? How do you share those details through the other team? For example, I have a team where they need to consume some data from the particular topic. So how do I share the data to them or how do I share the details to them? So we might need to share the detail about the queue name or topic name and we need to specify what is our messaging provider URL. So because these topics are hosted in specific messaging provider. So we need to give the host name and port and also if it is a UAT or test environment production, those kind of details we need to share it along with our queue or topic name. So those kind of instruction we need to specify it in somewhere that is what it's called as SNKB. Instead of sharing it via email, I'll keep it in a specification so that I can share it with a number of developers so that it won't be, there won't be any confusion. They can easily refer or import the SNKB into their system so that they can understand how to deal with or how to implement with that particular public publish subscribe messaging pattern. Because it has all the details and we don't need to share it anything via email. It has all the details and even you know, I'll just explain this one so that you'll understand more. So when you look at the Ascent KPA, right, and uh, you need to tell what is all about for this particular Ascent KPA. So you have an info section where you have a title, so where you can mention all about the description about this particular Ascent KPA. For example, I have a Ascent KPA for uh, order. So then I can mention this is the order Ascent KPA. So what it means is uh, this specification will have all the details about order processing. And also you can mention the version and uh, if it is a 1.0.0 and then there is a change if you wanted to change it to 1.0.1. So those kind of things you can update in your documentation. And then there's a server section where you can mention the messaging broker, right? Uh, it will have, uh, as you, this particular template or specification, it is common for all the protocol. For example, you have something for JMS, you can use this. And you have something for AMQP, you can use this. And if you have something for uh, any other MQ, right? So those kind of things, you can use it via this ASIN KPA specification. And uh, in this server section only, we have specify the protocol details. And also we will can mention the our test environment details and uh, production environment details. So those kind of environment details we can specify in the server section. Under the channel, we need to mention the, the queue or topic name. So here the purchase order and sales order, both are the channel name or it is a topic name. So basically this particular documentation, what it tells is this purchase order topic was a publish option. So where anybody can publish the data, how they can publish the data as a payload. So in the payload section, you can simply you can give how your payload want to be, right? Like uh, you will have the payload as an object. So object means it will have a number of fields with a key value pair, right? So those kind of segment you can give it so that the whoever wants to publish the data, so they know the sample, what kind of the data format they need to publish to this particular topic. Similarly, I have a sales order topic where someone can subscribe it and what is the format? Because when I wanted to subscribe the message, I need to know the the format of the message, right? Is it a XML or is it a JSON? And uh, what are the fields are there? Is it optional or mandatory? So those kind of specification, you can give it in this particular section. So this way, you, you're telling about all the details about the server, protocol, topic name, and how the message should be. Everything you're giving it in a ASIN KPA. Thank you. Uh, hi, thank you for watching this video so far. If you like the video, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this Tech Lightning channel. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.